Hi, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today we're going to talk about identifying a, b, and c in the quadratic formula. Now, the first thing we need is a quadratic equation in the right form, and we have two of them here. So we're going to identify a, b, and c for each of these quadratic equations. So let's look at this first one here. a is always the coefficient of the x squared term. So in this case, the coefficient of our x squared term is 2. So a equals 2. Now what about b? b is the coefficient of our x term. So here we just have a single x. Now there's no number written in front of it, but x is the same as 1 times x. So that means in this case, b is equal to 1. c is the constant term. And in this case, we're subtracting 15. That means our constant term is negative 15. It's really, really important that you get the signs right. One wrong sign and your whole solution will be off. So don't forget that when you're subtracting, you can always make that addition of a negative, and that way you can be sure you get the right sign on C. Now what about this one down here? A, the coefficient of the x squared term, is just 1, because 1 times x squared is equal to x squared. What about B? We're subtracting 3x, so that means we're multiplying x by a minus 3, so B is equal to minus 3. And c, our constant term, is just equal to 5. So c equals 5 in this case. Now, this might seem like a trivial step going through and just writing down what a, b, and c are, but it actually isn't. It's actually really important. The whole quadratic formula depends on the values of these two coefficients and this constant. So you have to get them right. If you get them wrong, you go through this whole calculation and you don't get the right answer. So don't shortcut it. Do this step, make sure you have the right values, and then you can plug them into the quadratic formula. And that's what we're going to do next time. That's how you identify a, b, and c in a quadratic equation. Thanks for learning with me today. If you have any questions on this topic or anything having to do with math, please click on the links or send us a request to requests at mahalo.com. See you later.